You are excited. Hurrah, Jackie. You are frustrated. So sorry, Jackie. Jackie Gerstein here, and this is just a quick tutorial how to use the PictoBlock software, which is like Scratch, plus the Google's teaching machine, which is a form, a subcategory of artificial intelligence, and the microbit microcontroller to create a micro, an interactive micropal. So there's several steps you need to do to create this project. The first, uh, the STEMPD is PictoBlocks needs to be downloaded, and here's the page that you would do it. You could just Google um, download PictoBlocks. Connect the microbit to the PictoBlocks program. You need to go through a couple steps, and these steps are somewhat similar to what you would do to connect the microbit to Scratch. In fact, this first step is the same thing you would do to scr with Scratch. You need to download the hex file, and hex files are what's used for microbits, and then you need to drag and drop it onto the microbit. Once you do that with your micro microbit, you don't have to keep doing that. It's on that microbit. The second thing you need to do is download this PictoBlocks link. You could see in the description that it connects to a lot of these physical computing microcontrollers, including Microbit. Next, they have a great tutorial, the Stempedia team, on how to um, identify a mask versus non-mask using machine learning. And you could see it's pretty good at step-by-step. Step. Here's a link to the teaching machine, if I could get that away. And instead of doing getting the teaching machine to recognize a mask versus not having a mask, you can do it doing using um, different emotions. So I used excited and frustrated for my teaching machine. So here's the PictoBlocks program that's been open. As you can see, it looks a lot like Scratch. And hopefully you know Scratch because it's going to make do it using this project, making this project a lot easier. There's several extensions and boards you need to access, connect, in order to make this project. So the extensions, both for PictoBlocks and Scratch, are in the bottom left corner. And the first one you're going to use is machine learning. And it, it shows you to load a model, and that's from the teaching machine Google's teaching machine, and that's described in the mask versus no mask project that I showed you. Another extension you're going to use is, I mean, oops, text-to-speech, wrong, wrong one. Finally, you need to cr connect your microbit board, and if you could see here, there's a all the boards this program connects to. So I'll click on Microbit. And I already have my Microbit connected via the USB cord, and I did, I used the Microbit link already. I had that downloaded, so I'm gonna connect that. And I'm ready to go with Microbit Blocks. Program. The teaching machine, Google's teaching machine, is shown in the maroon, and I did excited and frustrated. And then you'll also see the text-to-speech blocks in the green. I'll show you how this works first. You are frustrated. So sorry, Jackie. You are excited. Hurrah, Jackie. It's interactive with this program. And in a minute, I'll show you how it connects to my micro pal. So one thing is the facial expressions when the teaching machine reads how I'm feeling. The next thing is to 
create a little bit of fun interactive elements to the micro bit so you'll hear that when I tilt What's it happening? and then you'll also see when I press B that tickles all right let me show you what it all looks like here's the final version of the micro pal and like I said if you um, program it to do different buttons that tickles so you heard that that tickles and then it's laughing, ha ha. And then the tilting. What's happening? Didn't like that, so I put an expression there. And then finally, recognizing different emotions. So you have to press A to get that part started. You are frustrated. So sorry, Jackie. And then. You are excited, hurrah, Jackie. You are frustrated. So sorry, Jackie.